Hey guys, it's Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a flashback favorites to my best in beauty of 2017. So I took a look back at that video, which I will link it up here for you guys. I have everything in front of me that's still in my collection. So we're gonna go back to what I thought was the best of the best of last year, and we're gonna revisit these. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's get into it. I'm going to go in the same order that I went in in that video last year. So first up is the Eco Tools sponge, which this is just a joke if you guys have been watching my channel because I use this every single day. It is still my ride or die sponge. This is the pink one that I have from the Radiant Vanity Kit or something like that. I can't remember the name of it. I did a full review on this kit which I will link up here for you guys if you wanna see that. But this pink one came in that kit, but the original one is the green one. It's the same exact sponge. So yes, the Eco Tool sponge is still ride or die for me. The other tool that I mentioned in that video is the Eco Tools full powder brush. I still love this brush as well. I use it a ton. I think that it's such a great brush to bronze up your skin. It does give you more of a like saturated look than very sheer it's definitely like more full color so you do have to be more light-handed with it if you're going to use it so that you don't look like a crazy person i also want to mention that i'm wearing quite a few of these products on my face so as i go through them i will tell you guys if i'm wearing them so the first product that i'm wearing is the dermalogica hydra blur this is a great primer i've loved this primer for a very long time and it just is a little white formula and this is one of those primers that I like to kind of push into my pores because it will fill your pores. So all in this area around my nose, I will apply it and then press it in. So I just use this very light pressing motion and I it just fills your pores in so gorgeously. It does have a bit of a silicone -y feel, not very much though compared to some of the other primers that I've used that are pore filling. So I love this. I still highly, highly recommend this. The other primer that I mentioned in that video is the Bare Minerals Good Hydrations Primer. This is another one that's just a white formula and this is super hydrating. So if you have dry skin, I highly recommend this. It seeps right into your skin so quickly so you don't feel like you have another moisturizer on top of your moisturizer. I like to use this one in the winter. I don't use it really in the summer because I do have combo slash oily skin. So this is more of a winter product for me. I have three face products. The first one is the Clinique two-in-one foundation and concealer. I love this stuff. I've loved it for years. I still continue to use it. I really like the applicator of it. The packaging is just so easy to use because it comes with this gigantic doe foot, which I've seen in more and more products over 2018. So I really enjoy this. It's easy to just swipe it onto your face. The one thing about this foundation to keep in mind is that it does dry down quickly. So generally speaking, I'll apply it to one part of my face, blend that out and then apply it to the next part because if I apply it to my entire face and then try and blend it all out, it's kind of dried out and it's hard to get it to blend right. But this is a really good price too. I believe it's $20. I feel like that sounds really low and maybe I'm wrong. Don't quote me on it, but I'm pretty sure it is. Either way, I do know that it is affordable for being a high-end brand. The next foundation is what I'm wearing today. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. It is a similar product in the fact that it is a bit heavier. It is full coverage. It is a concealer and foundation in one but this is another one I love. I actually didn't think I still had it in my collection. I had thought I used it up, but I had two shades of it and I used the other shade up. So when I was looking through my products today, I was happy that I still had this. Totally forgot about it and was so excited to be able to use it. I'm definitely going to continue using this again now that I remember I have it in my collection. How sad. Anyway, this is a really good one. If you do have acne prone skin, I've got acne scars in this area that I really like to cover up. So this is a really good foundation for that. So is this one really anything full coverage, but I don't wear concealer as well. I used to, a few years ago, I used to wear like a light BB cream and then a bunch of concealer to cover up all of my acne scars. And now I just find that it's easier to just use a full coverage foundation over everything and call it a day. So this is a really good one. It's from the drugstore. I think it's like $12. So it's pretty affordable. And then my last like coverage product is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. This is in the shade light. I have gone through countless tubes of this. I love the packaging. It has a pump on it, but it is a squeezy tube. 
I actually did a full video because they came out with a matte version of this product over the summer and I did a full video comparing the two side by side on my face so if you're interested in seeing that I will link that video up here for you guys but I really still love this the one thing about this product is that it does have SPF 50 so there is flashback if you're using flash photography at night so I highly suggest not wearing this if you are going out at night but this is a really good daytime foundation I also use it a lot when I'm going out on the boat or just out in general in the summer because I want a high SPF. Moving on, this is the Milani Baked Bronzer in the shade Soleil 05. I was kind of on the fence about this bronzer for a while because it kind of stopped working and then I found out the trick of getting your powders to work again if they kind of stop picking up product it's because they have oil from your face on them so you'll apply the product and then dip your brush back in and it's getting oil from your face back and forth so if you put scotch tape over it and press it down and then peel it up it takes that layer off and then the product works good as new again it is an insane trick I had no idea that it existed but I did find out earlier this year and since then I have been using this again it's a really nice bronzer it does have a bit of a luminosity to it which I personally really like this is one of my favorite bronzers to use in the summertime just because I'm already tan and I want that glowy look the other bronzer is from Becca this is the sunlit bronzer in Capri Coast if you guys have been following me for a while you already know that I love this bronzer I still love this bronzer it's what I have on my skin today this one is more of a matte bronzer, but I do think that this one is really pretty as well. It has just like the slightest bit of sheen. It's not as glowy as the baked bronzer. It's not completely matte though. So I don't want to say it's completely matte. It's not. It has a small amount of sheen, but really not that much at all. It's just going to leave your skin with a nice, healthy looking glow. Okay, let's check highlighters. First of all is from Burberry. This is their Fresh Glow Highlighter. I have it in the shade Rose Gold, which is 04. I mentioned this in my Beauty Lovers gift guide, and then I had a hard time finding it. They used to sell it at Sephora, and now they don't, so I don't know if they are discontinuing this product or not, but that being said, I still love it. I think it is a beautiful highlight, and it's just... It's just gorgeous. There's no other way to say it. The packaging is very luxurious. I think I think this is just something really fun to use and it is a really nice glow. I love the shade of it. I think that it's really flattering. It doesn't accentuate your texture. So long story short on this, I still like this product. I had another highlighter. This is the Tarte highlight in the shade Stunner. I actually hit pan on this one and I really love this one as well. I think it is so pretty. And this shade, again, I feel like is pretty universal. Maybe if you have a deeper skin tone, if you're like medium deep or deeper, you may not like this. It might be a little, whoa. It might be a little bit too icy for you, but if you have fair probably to like medium skin tones, I think it would work. It's just a really nice champagne-y looking highlight. The eyeshadow palette that I included last year was the Tarte Linen Bloom, which I also included this in my Beauty Lovers gift guide. If you guys haven't seen that video, I will link it up here for you. I shared tons of products. If you have a beauty lover in your life that you're trying to shop for this holiday season, I listed tons and tons of ideas, but this is one of them. This is a great great eyeshadow palette i love it because it is semi-affordable it's 39 dollars. it comes with 12 shades there's mattes there's shimmers there's a few lid shades and then there's also deeper shades that you can use for your eyeliner there's transition shades i just feel like it's a great everyday eyeshadow palette it has a nice size mirror as well and the packaging is gorgeous which it does not hurt the situation so yeah needless to say needless to say i still really love this product next is the curvitude liner from maybelline i think i did a full video on this liner but i love this because you can get a really it's kind of drying out on me but you can get a thick line a thin line and this is really good for beginners i think because when you're doing your eyeliner you have to kind of come from above but with this one since it's curved you can just kind of go straight on i think it's easy it would be easier if you learned on something like this because you would never have to learn to kind of like overcompensate for yourself okay i had a few mascaras and i don't have them all in my collection that's one of those things that it's hard to keep in your collection because they do dry out 
So one of them was the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I still love that. I think it is the best drugstore mascara on the market. I still stand by that statement. I think it's amazing. If you have not tried it, I highly, highly recommend going out and trying it. Another one is the YSL Shocking. I'm a little confused about this mascara too because I picked it up and then I didn't see it again in stores. I can find the YSL The Shock, but not Shocking. So I don't know if they discontinued it. I really enjoyed it, but I have never found it since last year so the tube that i had when i was doing that video is the last time i ever found it so if they did discontinue it i don't i don't know but it is a really really good mascara so if it is out there somewhere in the universe i would highly recommend trying it i do want to note that it is a very wet formula so when you're applying it it can get a little bit messy if you blink or anything like that so it's a bit messy but it is really good and then lastly for mascaras, I had this one from Essence. It's the Lash Princess in the Sculpted Volume. This is the purple packaging, and this has a curved wand. And I really love this mascara still. I don't wear it as often just because I do have mascaras that I like more than this one. But I will say, if you're looking for a drugstore mascara, first go buy the Lash Paradise. But if you don't like that one, the Lash Princess is a really good option. Okay, let's move on to lips. I have the Marc Jacobs Pout Liner. This is in the shade Nudist. This is such a good eyeliner. I'm trying to find a spot on my hand. Uh, I still really like this liner. I feel like it goes with everything. It's one of those liners that you can literally wear under like any lip color that you want. It is super comfortable. It applies really nicely. I have nothing but great things to say about it. I still use it really, really often. Then I had a ColourPop lip liner. I have no idea where that went. It disappeared out of my collection and I haven't seen it since. So it is a really good liner and I loved it, but I only had one shade of it and I don't have it anymore. So, and then the last lip liner is what I have on today. This is from Buxom. This is the Plump Line Lip Liner in the shade Stealth. I have talked about this product approximately a million times. So this is the shade right here. I am obsessed with this shade. I think it's so pretty. So one side, it's a bit of a chubbier stick. So one side has the pencil and then the other side has a brush so that you can blend out the color if you want to. I generally just fill it all the way in and then top it with a lip gloss, which I'm gonna kind of skip ahead the lip gloss that I put over it that I mentioned in this video is the Buxom Full On Lip Cream. They have the lip polishes and the lip creams. I love both of the formulas. This is the lip cream or the lip polish in Sophia. What I have on today is the lip cream in Blushing Margarita. So this is kind of one of my favorite combos. It's still one of my favorite combos. It was one of my favorites back then and I still am obsessed with it. So this is like my perfect nude lip. Also, I did want to mention that I'm doing 12 days of giveaways on my Instagram right now. It starts on the first and is going to go for 12 days. So today's prize is actually Buxom products. So I have the full on lip polish in the shade Sophia, which is this shade right here. And this is one of my, actually, I think this was my first Buxom product ever. So this is a nice lip gloss. And then I also have the full on lip cream in the shade White Russian, which this is like the cult classic favorite color. I'm not going to swatch it for you guys because I don't have it in my collection and I'm not going to open this one, obviously, but I will just show you the um, thing. So anyway, go over to my Instagram. You can enter to win these two products if you're interested. All right, back to the lip products. The next one that I had in my favorites was the Bare Minerals Matte Lipstick. This is one is in the shade Flawless. I still really like this formula. It's really comfortable. I'm not the biggest fan of matte lip shades, but this, if I'm going to pick one of the formulas, this is definitely up there in my top favorites. So I do still really like this. I don't wear it super often, but... It's definitely a good one. Another lip product that I had in there was the Burberry Lip Velvets. This is in the shade Oxblood, number 53. Again, this is one of those things that I don't wear really, really often, but I do enjoy it. So these are super, super comfortable and the packaging is gorgeous. And then the last product is from Fresh. These are the Sugar Lip Treatments and this is in the shade Rosé. <sighs> you guys. There are some things that just never change. I have been having a love affair with this product for a very long time, as proof is in my Best of Beauty 2017. I have mentioned this video. It's in my 
um, beauty lovers gift guide. I mentioned it in my origins lip video. I did a comparison. I've talked about it in favorites videos. I have talked this thing to death. I still love it. It just gives you a nice wash of color on your lips and I am obsessed. Overall, I would say I still love a ton of these products. Some of them are definitely not in my every single day using them up situation, but a lot of them still are. I'm actually surprised how many of them are still in my everyday drawer. That just really goes to show how much I really thought about what I talked about last year, and I still love all of these. So I hope that you guys found this video interesting. Let me know down below what your favorite product of the moment is right now. And is there something that you were using a long time ago that you're still loving? Let me know down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.